My name is Gonzalo Espinoza. I'm in the faculty of Orlando Ballet School. I'll be choreographing La Bessette de la Fe, music by Stravinsky. Ida Rubinstein was in the Ballet Russe of Diaghilev in 1928. She left Diaghilev Ballet Russe. So she wanted to open a new company, and then she talked to Stravinsky, asking him to compose something for her. She, she talked to Stravinsky and said, I need to do something, I need to do a ballet. Will you compose something for me? In 1928 was the 35th anniversary of the death of Tchaikovsky, which Stravinsky loved dearly. So then he decided, okay, well, sure, I can do that. So he got inspired of Tchaikovsky music. And also he got inspired in the tale, one of the tales of Hans Christian Andersen called The Snow Maiden. In 1928, Nijinska, choreograph that piece. But it was a full-length ballet, more than, probably 45 minutes. After that, there were no good reviews about it. Balanchine, in, 1920, in 1937, decided to do it. He did it three times because we, he was never happy with it. In 1949, he decided to revise it. He did it in 1937, he did it in 1949, but he, he felt that it was too long. When Ms. Berger and the school, Ms. Berger, the director of the school, asked me to do this, I said, sure, I can do it. So I was thinking in doing a story about it, but reading and researching about the story and about all the problems that everybody has done, I said, well, what if I just, you know, use the music to do different things, like more like trying to what the music tells me, which in moments is very specific. And actually Stravinsky took only unknown music of Tchaikovsky, like piano music and songs that Tchaikovsky probably never used. And he inspired, he got, he got inspired with those. For tickets, visit drfedecenter.org. Hasta la vista.